My dear brothers and sisters, I think we all agree that today is a historical day in the Lord's work. But what makes it a historical day? I'm sure a lot of us will say, as I was deeply moved when our district apostle shared his life with us like a father would share it with his children. But that doesn't make it historical. It only becomes historical when it becomes part of us. My father used to say to me when I was a boy, boy, save your money, save your money. And when you're a boy, that's a hard thing to do. If you have five dollars, you can spend six, but to save a nickel is awful tough. You know when the historical day came? When I finally opened up a bank account and I saved money. That was the historical day. And brothers and sisters, when what was said this morning goes into us, I too was deeply touched by that text word. Like the Apostle Wagner said, that there is such a difference between the righteous and the next step isn't a little bit righteous and a little bit wicked. The next step is wicked. Why such a definite difference? And we could find it if we look at Noah's time. It says, Noah was found righteous in his time. I don't think it says everybody else was wicked, but really everybody else was wicked because nobody else went into the ark. Noah and his family went in. And what made him righteous? Because he was morally such a perfect man, he had his faults and failings. One thing made him righteous in that time. Brothers and sisters, one thing makes us righteous in our time. He did what God told him in his time. And that made him righteous. And all the rest fell into a category which we don't even want to go into. And brothers and sisters, it's the same in our time. What makes those that serve the Lord? Those that help out a little bit now and then? I had to think of a mother. A mother, it's her life. There is no other life. Ask any mother. A mother would say, I live for the children. Nothing is more important. I would give my life for the children. If one would say, would that be a big sacrifice? A mother would say, no, because I love the children. There is no graduation from those that serve the Lord, like the world tries to mush it all together down to those that don't serve the Lord. There's little categories, those that give a little time, those that give a little bit more time, those that give a little bit more time, and somebody figures, I fit in between there someplace. Brothers and sisters, there isn't a place in between. Those that serve the Lord love it with all their heart. And that's what we could read in the words of our district apostle when he spoke of 59 years. What has he done to serve the Lord? I had to think of those that are here. How many were little children? And the district apostle, when he was a little child, gave you a little coin and stooped to say hello to you. I have a son at home that has a coin in a favorite place. He was a little boy, I don't know, two years old, three years old. And he came home once and he said, District Apostle Kraus, stop. And he gave me that coin. He was so flabbergasted, he was so overwhelmed. He said, I'm gonna save it. Today he's a lot older, married and has his own children, but he still has that coin. He hasn't forgotten that. Somebody stopped to serve him. Don't misunderstand me. The 50 cent piece didn't serve him. But that somebody stopped to love him. Brothers and sisters, it has to be our life. It has to be our life. Because there's only one category. Those that serve the Lord with all their life. And those that don't serve. This morning, you and I are going to decide that. And that's why this morning is going to be a historical morning. That's why it's going to be a historical morning. And this year is going to prove it. And if we haven't, my dear brother, my dear sister, it's high time to get on the bandwagon. 
because this work is going to the day of the Lord. This work is going to be completed. And if I could say the words of Joshua, and as for me and my house, I want to be with our district apostle on that day. Amen. Amen.